everybody it's the Howell family and we're back at it again that's right back at it again with another banger all right guys before we get started this video make sure you guys go ahead and like comment and if you're new to the Howell family go ahead and smash that subscribe button you know what I'm talking about Anyway, guys, before we get started to this video, just let you, uh, just to let you know what we're doing today, guys. We're actually heading to the doctors right now. We got a doctor's appointment at 11 o'clock. We'll get there roughly around 10:40. So we're gonna stop at stop at yeah, we can stop at Starbucks. Starbucks. Um, to get something to eat, we're gonna stop at Starbucks before we actually get there. Um, because we'll have 20 minutes to spare. And then, guys, uh, after that, we are actually going to um. Pretty much finish up getting some more of our baby stuff that um we we'll just finish getting the baby stuff yeah finish getting the baby stuff some stuff that didn't get got on the uh registry and whatnot so uh that's what our day is pretty much gonna be filled up um so we'll see you guys once we get to the doctor Alrighty guys, thankfully this week I didn't have to park all the way in the wilderness. I'm parked right here, you know what I'm talking about, gang gang. So we're about to head into the doctors. Mm. Franklin, we'll keep you guys updated on everything. So 
baby A at five pounds and three ounces. This lady done put so much of that cream and stuff on her stomach. And I got up her clothes. She got to take it to the mall and get some more clothes. Sorry, that's coming out her stimulus check. <laughs> oh, you're showing too much goodies. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Well, guys, we're finally out of the doctors. And it is 1246. It seemed like forever, though. But, um, just an update on the babies. Uh, they're doing great. Both babies are weighing five. One baby's wearing five pounds, three ounces. The other baby is weighing five pounds, two ounces. So they're neck and neck. It's like a race. It's like, but it's crazy. Like, I'm on track to giving birth to six to seven pound babies. Mm -hmm. Two six to seven pound babies. I thank the Lord because they could be small and then have to stay in the hospital for a while. So I thank the Lord, but uh, Mofo was nervous. I'm supposed to push out two, six, and seven pounds. I'm supposed to push out 12 to 14 pounds out my... How am I supposed to? I don't know, but the Lord took you this far. He's going he gonna to bring you through. Um, but, um, but they are sideways. They're not. Yeah, the babies are sideways now. They're not head down anymore. Which so. could affect how I deliver. I could. I mean, we still have some weeks, but we yeah, still have some weeks. But it's just weird that both of the babies are sideways now. That's why I've been feeling all this movement this weekend. That's why one side of the stomach has been looking bigger than the other. Well, all that movement and that because all the movement has been here. But that's because all their feet and legs is over here. <laughs> they playing kick war with each other. Kickball and the ball is my stomach. Yeah. Yeah, I like look at her stuff. There's too much lighting. That is big. Like what? Not so much light. Yeah, yeah, I gotta look at her stomach. It's just sitting on my legs. <laughs> but anyway, guys, we're about to go see what we get ready to do. Hey, what can you eat something good to drink? Maybe a little snack or something. But I don't yeah, know. I'm hungry. But I literally boo-booed in there. That's I think I was gonna be able to, but I knew, I knew I had to, and I was like, I'm gonna sit here until I do. And she and clogged boy, up the toilet. It all came out. I was like, I couldn't text her because I had her phone. I'm like, are you okay? <laughs> I was in there getting it done. But anyway, guys, we're about to go find something. Go get something to eat and then head to these stores and get ready to finish up this uh, and we really gotta baby registration. Yeah. If my blood pressure don't act right. I yeah. gotta find some stuff to bring my blood pressure. So now, guys, we also have to start coming to the doctors twice a week. Because her blood pressure has been a little bit too high. For the past three appointments. For the past three weeks. So. But after they did their second time, then it went down. So now they're saying that if it stays the way that it's like if her blood pressure, if her blood pressure stays as high as it's been for the past three appointments, then what then they say you can give birth at 37 weeks? Yes. That's a whole week early. She can give birth at 37 weeks, guys. I mean, that's three weeks early, but for twins, we wanted, I was trying to get to 38 weeks. So that's still a week. Or, that's still early. Yeah. Babe, I'm going to be 35 weeks on Saturday. That's two weeks away. We're only <laughs> three weeks away if we stick into the regular timeline. <laughs> oh, Lord. So either way. We have less than a month. Mm, less than a month, guys. Let's keep us in your prayers. 
Alrighty guys, so we are in Target right now. So we actually get ready to get some of the rest of the baby stuff that they have in Target. We're gonna go ahead and get that right now. Um, yeah guys, cause the due date is getting very closer and closer. Just have a little bit more things, like a little bit more things that we have to get. So we're gonna see if we can find those in here and get this thing jumping. All right, guys, so we already found one of the bassinets. This one's actually on sale for 50. They only got one in stock, but we're gonna try to see if we can find another one somewhere else. But this one actually has wheels and everything, and this is actually cheaper than the one that we wanted. So we're gonna go with this one so far, but we gotta find out if we can, if they have any more in stock, or if they have any more like at another location. All right, guys, the card is filling up. That's right, we got us our diaper changing uh, pad. We still got first bassinet. We are going to go to the other target to get the other one. We got the humidifier. We got another bottle. Bottle cleaning set. We got, uh, did you get two of these? That's this, the changing pad. Oh, this is the changing pad uh, thing. But then we got two of the little, uh, what is this? The fitting sheets matching, of course. And uh, right now we're trying to find uh, oh, like, this like an air thing that we can just basically set the bottles and stuff on the air dry and stuff. All right, guys, this target trip is going to be pretty fast and simple because we just had to come and find the other bassinet, which we had. It actually had three in stock. So whatever she sees that she wants to look at, we will look at. And then we'll head back over to the other location. Cause we gotta go back to the Walmart and other sorts over there. All right, guys. Sorry that we have been away from the camera for a while. It kind of gets to us, you know, once we start getting stuff for the babies. But guys, look, we are home now. The birds are chirping. But look, guys, y'all yeah, already know I ain't got trunk space. But we had to go get the remaining stuff. For this uh this journey and we have did it the only thing we have left that we have to do guys is order uh oh we gotta order we don't need to order anything but we want to order something there's Some other, other swings things. oh yeah excuse me. I forgot that. so we have to order another <laughs> swing but that's it that's how i'm about to try to pick nah you just go up go up you got pizza in your hand and everything. Ain't got time for you dropping your food. You got any pussy carrying heavy stuff. Women these days, pregnant women at that. You lucky I can't, babe. You lucky I can't just. <clears throat> look, I can't just grab you at like. <clears throat> in the house. I gotta take the Browns to the Super Bowl if you know what I mean. <laughs> I ain't talking about dropping the kids off at the pool. I'm talking about taking the Browns to the Super Bowl. But, um, yeah, man, I was just, I went to Burlington again just because we were trying to find another, uh, another book bag, like a, um, a baby book bag, a diaper book bag and stuff. Can't find any. Can't find one. They all look like just regular book bags, but they had too much, like, the material on it wasn't that good, what we wanted. But, um, I did cop another onesie, like a whole suit. I'm gonna let you guys see that junk when we get to the side of the house. That junk was fire. I FaceTime Fiance. She's like, yes, get it! Yeah, she stayed in the car. But, um, yeah, guys, I'm taking this up to the steps right now. I had to get me another gaming headset. Got that from Burlington. It's gonna sell about 10 bucks. I just need another one because one of my wires got shortened on it. So it went out. I went and got another pair of socks because my socks somehow keep getting lost. I don't know how. And then I got me some slides for the hospital. Oh, summertime coming up, so you know how to get me some more slides. I got me some Tommy Hill figure. Tommy Hill figure sliding, sliding socks. 
they got me another pair of UNC shorts. Huh? She on the toilet, y'all. Is she me? I'm gonna have to come in this house. She don't She better have to the door. Too much. I knew I had to come in here. You want to go run on the toilet? I had to pee. I can't hold things like this anymore. <laughs> so you mean to tell me you can't hold you can't hold pee and stuff? So you mean to tell me when we was all in the stores? You, I gotta pee now. Y'all, I just realized we still gotta go to the grocery store. Gotta get another toothbrush. It was time for me to change my toothbrushes. Y'all don't change y'all toothbrushes, something wrong with y'all. I, I, I don't judge, but if you don't change your toothbrushes, something's wrong with you. I gotta get another toothbrush, because it's time for me to change mine. I gotta get some more trash bags. We out of them. Use the last one. Literally last night, thank God that we didn't have to use any trash today. Um, what else I gotta get? I gotta get the rest of this out of the car. Y'all look at this. Y'all look at this. Y'all look at this. Jesus. So that's what we got right here. We got us. We went ahead and got our bath and um thing for the babies. Y'all, I ain't gonna be able to carry this all in by myself. I don't even know why I can't get it out. I can't wait till she get them babies. <laughs> Y'all don't understand. Boy, we're doing everything this whole pregnancy. I mean, that's what a man's supposed to do, but whew. if some man gained weight during pregnancy, I probably lost weight as much work as I've been doing. I'm trying to tell y'all, going up to steps and stuff like this, still gotta go get some more stuff out the car. I be y'all out of breath getting the workout in. I ain't signed up for this. Today, my day off. We supposed to just go to the doctor, do a little bit of shopping. I ain't even think we was gonna get this much stuff. They say, no, she showed me a whole list on her phone. I said, what? She ain't even gonna help me come get the dough. She sitting down eating. Y'all, she already on TV, watching TV, sitting down eating. Well, I'm, well, I'm still over here. Y'all see? <laughs> well, I'm still gotta go get back in, right back and forth to get stuff. I'm gonna talk to y'all. Anyway, guys, I love my baby girl to death. I'm just playing with her. But, guys, it is getting closer and closer. First off, we want to thank the man upstairs, the man above, God for everything. You know what I'm talking about? Because without him, this stuff would not be possible. Um, as you guys do know, I don't know if you guys remember, but as you guys do know, we had a miscarriage last year. Literally, literally in March. A um, couple of months later, we end up Couple of months later, Kiana ends up taking another pregnancy test. Comes back, she's pregnant. We go to the doctors, and boom, now we got twins on the way. I'm probably gonna get y'all a little documentary about the whole thing. But just a little, just a little, you know, story, story beyond the story that you guys really don't know. But yeah, man, time is getting closer and closer. Like I said, we wanna thank God. Would it wouldn't be possible without him. I also want to thank you guys for your continuous prayers, your gifts, uh, the congratulations, everything. And uh, don't look at me. Oh, y'all, she still want to look. But 
Yeah, guys. Time is getting closer and closer. Like I said, you guys didn't pay attention earlier in the video. The doctors have said that her blood pressure was high for the past three appointments. It's a tad bit high. It wasn't anything crazy. But now we are actually have to go to the doctors two times a week. Fortunately, I probably either won't make it to the one that's on Mondays or I'll be getting there late um, because I do have to work. Fortunately, it's a bummer. Um, that's that. And then I'll be making it to the ones on Thursdays. Uh, as of right now, the doctor said that if the blood, her blood pressure ends up being the same, then she will be giving uh, birth at 37 weeks, guys. Yeah. But as of right now, the babies are still healthy. It's just that they are trying to make it best possible so she doesn't have to keep like blood pressure going up and everything. But I told Kiana, I said, the reason why your blood pressure only went up is because we literally ate breakfast before we went to, like before we actually went inside the doctor's office. Like the past three appointments, we literally either ate, this past time we ate Starbucks, which was the, uh, the double smoked uh, bacon and bacon and bacon egg and cheese. I got mine full leeway all the way done. She got hers without bacon, on no without eggs. So, but with the bacon, it's pretty much gonna make her high, her blood pressure high. The week before that, the two, actually the two weeks before that, I believe we went to McDonald's and she got like four hash browns, all that grease and stuff, shot her blood pressure up. So. That's the only reason why her blood pressure has been going up. But we are, I'm talking to the fans since you eating. So this is the last time I'm going to the car, guys. I just gotta get our Starbucks. So um, yeah, we are actually gonna try to cut it back out because we was actually doing good, but it's only been those last three appointments to where her blood pressure has been high because some days we wake up kind of late so we don't have time to actually make breakfast and then we just get stuff on the road but we're gonna go back to our usual breakfast mornings our bagels and fruit and juice just a simple thing because we don't want to keep doing what we're doing and end up risking and something is up I'm not saying anything's gonna happen bad but you get my drift. All this food and trash left in my car. I love you, baby girl, but you can't you can't trash my car like you trash yours. All this stuff gonna stay in the floor. When I go to work tomorrow, going in that door. But anyway, guys. Anyway, guys, I want to conclude the video. Uh, once again, make sure you guys. Once again, guys, make sure you go ahead and like and subscribe. And com like, comment, and subscribe if you have not yet. It's a good mixture. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.